Hello friend. Today we will discuss how we solve the earth pressure math in very simple manner. Okay. This is the third video of this active earth pressure series or you can say lateral earth pressure series. In case you miss the video then you find here i button go and check out last two video regarding active art question otherwise you go to my playlist section and you will find the lateral art pressure playlist and from there you can see the last two video regarding this so without further delay let's get started art pressure map how we solve in very easy manner the math is saying that a retaining wall say height is 10 meter okay and phi that is equal to 30 degree and dry density or dry unit weight gamma dry that should be 20 kilo newton per meter cube now you have to find out what is the total pressure total pressure in active condition and what is the total pressure in passive condition okay so basically we have to found in active count condition situation and passive condition situation okay so first i divide this page in two section this is your active and this is your passive case so in active case you have to find out value of ka and passive you have to find out first kt just remember k equal to 1 minus sine phi 1 plus sine phi and we know that kp equal to 1 by ka then ob Obviously, it should be 1 plus sine phi, 1 minus sine phi. If we put the value of phi, that means 1 minus sine 30 by 1 plus sine 30, that equal to 1 minus half divided by 1 plus half, that should be 1 by 3, then it should be only 3 ok good now the situation is like that this is your retaining structure this is height should be 10 meter and here the soil is there and gamma dry equal to 20 kilo newton per meter cube ok then I draw this what should I know now sigma h by sigma v equal to k a ok then sigma h equal to k a sigma v and sigma v equal to we can write k a gamma into h then i can write sigma h equal to k a gamma h ok fine so when h equal to 0 height equal to 0 then sigma h at 0 equal to 0 0 because h should be 0 at h equal to 5 
or second then sigma h should be 1/3 into 20 into 10 then answer should be 200 by 3 that means if this is your 10 meter this should be zero this value is your 200 by 3 and i am asking you find the total pressure this figure figure a b c this figure is a triangle so area of triangle equal half into base into height then i can write half into base value is 200 by 3 height should be 10 then answer should be here 1000 by 3 Kilo Newton per meter, and you can say that pressure per unit kilo Newton meter can be how much? Now, if you can write this, kilo Newton per meter square per meter. Now, how much can you write? In per meter, how much load is this giving? How much can you write? तो ऐसे आप जितने मैथ्स है आप सॉल्व कर सकते हो नाउ वी कैन सॉल्व द पैसिव कंडीशन पैसिव कंडीशन में क्या लिखा है क्या हुआ क्या है ना सिग्मा एच बाई सिग्मा वी इक्वल टू के पी देन वी कैन से सिग्मा एच इक्वल टू के पी सिग्मा वी We can write sigma h equal to k p. Sigma v means gamma h into gamma h into sorry gamma gamma dry equal into h. K p value three. Sigma h equal to twenty and that is equal to ten. So what should be the answer? 600 kilo newton per meter square. And what's your total pressure? Same. Half into base into height. Half base value should be your 600. Height should be 10. So that should be. 300. So this is 3000 kilo newton per meter square per meter. That is the total pressure. That is the total pressure. So, bus. That is the very short and simple video. How to solve your math from retaining one. If you have Doubt? Definitely do comment in comment section. I will definitely get back to you. If you have learned something from the video, definitely like the video, share the video, subscribe the video. If you are not subscribed, then definitely you should dislike this video. Definitely. And yes, please comment below. 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 Okay, ये हम बात करेंगे वन सेकेंड थैंक यू फॉर वॉचिंग दिस वीडियो